Do you know you can make more money just by designing and printing jotters? Whether you are designing for a friend, a family member, or you are designing for a client, this is the kind of video you need to watch if you need to upgrade your jotter design skill and make more money this year. Yes, you heard me very well. You can do this even without any graphic design skill. Hi, my name is Abanoana. I do graphic design and printing for life. And I'm happy to share with you the exact strategy I use to design amazing payday jotters and land more jobs and happy clients over the years. I want to especially give a special shout out to all my subscribers. So if you are new to my channel, if you are watching my video for the first time, do well to subscribe to my channel turn on bell notifications so that you don't miss any of my content. I'm going to show you how to design this. Even if you want to produce this jotter at home, I'm going to walk you through how to design this, how to print it, and how to bind it with this superior binding, okay? Here is the sample design I did. This is the front cover and this is the rear cover, okay? Now, after designing it like this, you are going to place it on this layout. You're going to place it on this layout. I'm going to walk you through how to do this design very briefly and then walk you through how to print this jotter and i'll also walk you through how to bind this jotter with the superior binding all right so i believe this video is like a video you have been looking for so stay with me in this video and if you are new to my channel and you like the kind of content and the kind of videos i create Subscribe to my channel and turn on bell notification so that you see everything I do subsequently in this channel. All right. So what do you do first when it comes to designing a jotter like this? This is not just an ordinary jotter. It is a hardcover binding jotter. Okay. What do you do? The first thing you have to do is for you to know that this design is A5. This front section alone is A5. And this rear section alone is A5. Okay? So both of them, you are going to design them separately in different pages. Okay? And then after designing both of them separately in different pages, and then later you bring the two of them into one page and set up your bleeds for folding and the rest of those things so in this video i'm going to show you everything step by step on how to achieve what i have just told you now open a new document then the document you are going to use you are going to use a5 okay please take note of what i'm doing you are going to use a5 All right, so we have opened our document. So we will start our design here. So I'm starting my design immediately. So I will begin my bringing, by bringing in my resources. So I will drag and power clip it inside here. So then I will adjust the design. I'm going to be faster about this design. So follow me so that you can get everything I'm going to do. Then what else are you going to do? Just place your text. So I'm going to use HBD, which stands for Happy Birthday. So let's turn this to uppercase and then you can use this font. I think this font will go. So 
HPD stands for happy birthday. So it is just my own design concepts. So you can choose to use your own design concept when you are designing, but it is one of the best design concepts I've been using so far. So here I'm going to use black. And then see what I'm going to do here. I'll just add concepts here. Let me duplicate this. I will use here red. But let's add a little white to that blue because we don't want it to show too much. Okay. All right. That is the kind of blue we are looking for. We don't want it to be very shouty. And then the same thing, we are going to do the same thing to this background. And we are going to copy this field down there, the background. I will send this to back, right? And then I will remove the outline. I will group this by pressing Ctrl G. And I will send this behind, right? So we are almost done with this front cover. But then let's add the name of this lady here. So I'm going to say Joy. Happy birthday, Joy. So I'm going to place this Joy here. So the text I'm going to use here is called Freehand. This text, you have it in your computer. So make use of it very well. Make use of the text very well. So, but then I would love to add some lighting effects to this particular design to make it pop. Okay, we'll add some lighting effects. So, let me get some of my lighting effects. Let me get some of my lighting effects. Or we'll bring my lighting effects to my design. So I'm going to bring this particular one. Let me bring this my lighting effect here. So I'm going to extend this. I'm going to extend this. Okay. And then I also add my lighting effect here. If you need this lighting effect, let me know in the comment section. Okay. If there is anything I have done that you don't understand, drop your comments in the comment section. I will respond to your comments one by one. And then what next you are going to do, let's add the date of this birthday. Let's add the date of this birthday. Let's say 20th or 30th. June. Okay. That is the date of the birthday. So let's let's be snappy. Or just find a place and place it around this place. Okay. You can decide to put maybe a circle around here and decide to put a circle around here zoom it out so that you see what you are trying to do so that circle you can turn it to red control page down to send it backward and then turn this to white okay so every font you are using must be readable Take note of that every font you are using must be readable so i discovered that that font is not very readable so i had to i had to change it to this particular one okay your font must be readable all right so you are not just designing for the beauty you are designing also for readability 
So we are done with the front cover. We are done with the front cover. So let's move ahead to the back cover. So after designing the back cover, I'm going to show you how to place the two of them in a layout that will give you this hardcover binding, okay? So stay with me and you'll see what I'm going to do step by step, all right? The next thing you are going to do, you are going to repeat the same process that you did with the front cover. But this time around, for you to, for us to work as smart graphic designers, let's copy the front page. Let's copy the front page because we want to work as smart designers. So we remove all these, we remove all these, and we remove all these. Okay. This time around, I'm going to use uh, deep black. But there is something I'm going to bring into this particular background that will make it different from the front cover. Okay. So this time around, I'm going to bring in these elements. All right. I'm going to bring in these elements. So let me copy out the elements. I have enough of this. So if you need it, drop a comment, drop your comment in the comment section and I will attend to you. So I'm going to remove this middle part because I don't need it. So then I'll turn this behind. By pressing control, page down, it will go down. So I will delete this one out. I'm done with all this. Or maybe if I need something, I can just place this one around this place. Okay, and just place this around this place. And then let's add a little element around here. Let's add a little element around here. Okay, what do I do? So I'll just copy this here to this particular element. Just drag. So I copy all properties, but then let me turn the perspective. Please, this is very, very important. You have to follow what I'm doing so that if you want to have the same result that I have, you have to follow me bit by bit. So let me duplicate this. All right, I think we are good to go. We are good to go. So let me delete all this. I'm done with all this. I'm done with all this. So now our design is very beautiful. You see how simple it is. Now, how do we lay the two together? Now that you are done with your front design and your rear design, what you do next is open another page. Now, this time around, you are going to use A3. Okay? You are going to use A3. Remember, you, you were designing the front and the back cover with A5 each. So, this time around, when you are done with that designing with the front cover and back cover, you are going to start with opening your A3. Now your A3 is going to be in landscape. Now hit OK. When you hit OK, draw in another rectangle. Now use a light background. Okay? Use a light background. So let's bring in our front cover and our back cover. So I'm going to bring in my front cover down there. My front cover is going to be this, it's going to be on the right hand side and my back cover is going to be on the left hand side. Okay, so let's zoom it out. Let's zoom it out. 
Notice what I'm trying to do. Now you are going to bring in your grid line, okay? And you centralize your grid line. Then bring in another grid line, your horizontal grid line. Bring it in another horizontal grid line, okay? Because you want to ensure that the two, the front page and the rear page stands equally on the page, okay? We want to ensure the front page and the rear page stands equally on this A3 paper. The concept of this layout is that, as you see this hardcover jotter, okay, these gray sections that you see here is what is used to bind this book, okay? It's what is used to bind this jotter. It is the gray section that is being folded inside, okay? And after folding the gray sections inside, okay, you fold this one, you fold this side, you fold this side, you fold this side, and you'll be left with the main design now. Be left with the main design, okay? Do you understand? The same thing will be done to this particular side, to the back cover, okay? The gray sections will be used to, fold, to, to bind this by folding the gray sections inside okay and later you will be left with the main design okay now after designing this how do you actually bind this okay okay i will show you just check this video this is how to bind a hardcover jotter the concept is that you will cut the the sections the edges, the apex of this jotter, and after cutting it, and then you pull them inside, you pull them inside, and you apply your gum. Okay, you do the same thing to this other side. Okay, after doing that, this side, the front side and the back side will be different. Okay, it will be it will stand differently, and when you are done. Okay, when you are done, what next you are going to do is for you to take your jotter and the inner covers, the inner pages, okay? You take the inner pages to a spiral binding machine, all right? Take it to a spiral binding machine, and a spiral binding machine will bind it for you. And you have exactly the same thing that I have here, okay? You have exactly the same thing that I have here. Okay, if there is anything that you don't really understand me, okay, let me see your question in the comment section. I'll be glad to respond to your questions. And I have been doing this all this while. If you drop me a question, definitely I'm going to attend to it. If you have any other question, maybe it doesn't pertain to this particular tutorial, I will still respond to it. So you can still drop your comments in the comment section. Drop your question in the comment section and I will respond to everything. So if you need this template, of course, you know, I'm going to give you this, my template. So I will leave the template of this design in the description below. So check the description below to download this template and use for your design and cash out anyhow anyhow if you find this video helpful do well to like this video and subscribe to my channel turn on notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upload if you want to see how to design an ordinary jotter an ordinary jotter Okay, like this one. You want to see how to design an ordinary jotter with a spine. Okay, I'll leave the video here. So you can check this video. You can check this video and I'll show you how to design an ordinary jotter like this. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.